that says stream start but are we live let's see Make sure everything looks good. Party part. And let's see how it looks. All right. Cool. Everything's up. All right. What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? What's going on? Let me actually turn this off because I don't want this in the way. And hopefully this actually works. Um, so I think it was P. Hopefully that shows up on screen. So let me look at it on my end. And I will start talking about everything that's going on here. All right. Funny. Funny. I get a um I get an ad on my own video. So uh, yep, it's on. Okay, what's up, guys? What's going on? Big Cloud here back again. How you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. We are live. Talk about some of this uh, gaming news that's been happening as of late. <laughs> what's going on? How y'all doing? Uh, shout out to Dawn. Hope you're feeling better. What's up, Josh? What's up, Master? Disrespect. Lots is in here. We got Raphael. What's up, Mister Quantum himself? What's up, brother? Good to see. You. Hope everything's good. Um, Nike. What's up? He said, "I hope uh, these cartridges are not proprietary. Wait, upgrade internal storage to be as That would suck big time. I wouldn't mind. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely get into that for sure. What's up, Lobo? What's up, players? And what's up, Halo? Cause I do me a huge favor. Cause I tweet this out. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let me go here and actually do this. So I put it in the Discord. Cause you know how YouTube is with notifications. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna talk, man. You know, there's so much to go over, man. So much to go over. It's not even funny. I've seen quite a bit of shows. I've been seeing quite a bit of comments. And one particular comment. Um, well, not even a comment. Death Stranding's just been in the has been the top trending thing in a lot of these shows I've been seeing. A lot of criticism for the game. Now granted, granted, um, if you're not into Death Stranding, you're not into Death Stranding, there's nothing I can do or anybody else can do that would make you uh buy this, you know, buy it, you know? Nothing. But the way things have been going, it's just ugh. It's bad. Definitely bad. Uh, what's the school PS5 cartridges? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're going to get into that, man. Let's make sure everything looks okay with the screen. All right, well, everything looks fine. Okay, all right. Good, 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 good. Let's get into this, then. Let's definitely get into this. Shit, whoops. <laughs> all right, so uh, Sony patented a SSD. Now, these are cartridges. These cartridges were patented a long time ago. A lot of people thought that they were for a new Vita, and um, we pretty much got confirmation that they're not going to be another Vita. And the reason why Sony's more likely not going to go with another Vita, if you guys remember Gio Corsi, he was in charge of second-party developers and relations. He's actually gone from Sony, and since he's gone from Sony, I don't really see them really rehauling or going back into Vita territory to build relations at all. And you think about it, the PlayStation Vita, despite you know what the you know the, the issue was, right, like the overpriced memory cards and all that, it was a good system. It just it didn't have the must-have games at that time. They tried other means to get games on the Vita, and the Vita just suffered. You know, Vita just wasn't really that big of a seller at that current time. It just it wasn't, and it clearly showed. Um, don't be a dad. No, shut up, Lobo. <laughs> but Vita <laughs> was no longer a thing, and. Um, Vita didn't sell well in the long run, you know? And since that's no longer a thing and they moved on from Vita, or it made sense for them to move away from Vita and go into other territories. I know a lot of people were thinking, well, maybe those, uh, 
you know, those patents or those like rumors that was going around that Sony was coming out with like a switch like Vita thing. Keep in mind, I'm pretty sure that does exist. I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff that we've seen patents for does exist, but it's in R&D and more than likely it's not going to come out. I don't see Sony dropping anything like that. So this comes back to PS5. It's resurfaced again for PlayStation 5. PS5 and this whole SSD thing. Now, we know for a fact that Sony is not using traditional mechanical drives for ps5 they're not doing it they're doing something different more than likely they're using a customized m2 drive for boot up speed for the system and they're going to rely heavily on flash memory for the system to uh, store games on and this is where these cartridges might actually come into play now you guys saw in the picture of the thumbnail um those are actual cartridges now you look at the size of those those are going to range you know so if they are going to go with cartridges for next generation and next generation is going to really be cartridge based when it comes to games. It kind of makes you wonder what's the price of the actual cartridges. And keep in mind, if they are going to go with that, how big are games really going to be? You know, 100 gigs has become the new standard, so to speak, when it comes to the big triple A uh, developed games red dead redemption 2 broke the milestones of 100 gigs right off the bat and that game wasn't even complete at the time because remember the multiplayer came back or came out a little later so that wasn't complete at the time then we have spider-man for the ps4 spider-man was getting close to this 100 gig um it was getting close there but it was like what 70 max something like that so games are definitely peaking they're getting up there to the 100 gigabytes in terms of space and we know games are going to get even bigger with next generation with new hardware on the horizon as well so you know quite a bit's going to happen with the next gen systems um what's up dennis what's up uh what's in here hs39 what's up man how you doing oh dude don't oh don't even worry about this design this ain't it <laughs> aaron summers good to see you man good to see you yeah so with this whole um, SSD thing, again, if this is going to be their solution to give, like, to have more games on the system or to take advantage of full games and have newer ways of that nature, this is definitely something they need to watch out for. This is what killed the Vita was the fact that it had the whole memory stick debacle and they were overpriced. The last thing Sony needs is these things to be overpriced and completely just blown out the water. And on top of, of all that... How big are these actual uh, cartridges are going to be, you know? So it's definitely interesting to see them go this route if this is true. And we're no longer going to have the laptop SSDs that we've known and loved for the system. If they're not going to go that route no more. I mean, hell, I mean, again, it's all about improving, right? It's all about in, in improving the games and getting better performance out of them in the long run. But at the same time, if we have that... And you kind of, it kind of makes you wonder what else is going to happen with the bigger projects, you know? So I'm interested. I'm definitely interested to see what's going to happen. But at the same time, I'm a little sketchy on the fact that this might actually be a thing. And keep in mind, this is a patent. So who knows, man? Who, who knows? We already know what's going on with the DualShock 5. The DualShock 5 is going to be using hefty triggers. And they're looking for ways to immerse you with the fact that they're using hefty trigger feedback. So that's pretty interesting. I want to see how that's going to look. So. You never know, man. We're getting closer to launch. We're getting ridiculously close to launch. What's up, Sean? Um, read your questions in the chat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. It comes down to the price, uh, Aaron. If that price is ridiculous, yeah, we're going to have a problem. Definitely have a problem. Sir XM, man, what's going on, brother? Uh, Halo Gen, did I say what's up to you? What's up? It may be just a way to pr partition your console. Um, OS may be on SSD and the gains may be on separate short. You see, I've been thinking that for the longest time that more than likely that was going to be the case, but I kept looking at it from a PC perspective. Obviously I have a gaming PC. So from a gaming PC perspective, I was like, okay, obviously what's going to happen with PS5. And this was kind of my, my mindset going forward. When we first started hearing about the SSD, I figured that the SSD would be internal where you could not change it. So this would be like their customized M2 like drive, right? Right. For their games and boot up and whatnot. And the OS, I figured that would be for that. And they will have a separate mechanical drive 
um, option so that you can actually, you know, store more games on the system or have, you know, the option to connect an external one. That's what I thought what was going to happen. But keep in mind, I'm looking at it from a PC perspective, right? This is console. Since these are not actual consoles and, or these are not actual PCs, sorry, and these are consoles and they're limited, it's going to have to be one or the other and since they're heavily talking about boot up speeds and they're heavily talking about you know uh games in general being faster it's more than likely going to have to be on the ssd and that's the case then they're going to have to find new ways and it's, it can't be it can't be on a external drive at this point or and it, yeah, it can't be on external drive i don't see it because keep in mind even if you have your games on external drive and you have like an m2 drive to boot up your pc your games are not booting up from the m2 drive they're booting up from that mechanical drive that makes sense so what you're getting out of the game is based on how you know the performance of that um it's based on the performance of that drive, but also your rig, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting the full benefits of the M2 drive is basically what I'm trying to say. You're not getting the full benefits. So it would have to be legit on that M2 drive. And this is their way of doing it where they're having cartridges and they're having it on there where it doesn't interfere and you still get that full performance out of the games, boot up speed, um, less pop in, you name it. That's probably their way out, and that's going to be the way they're going to do it. Again, so it'll come down to price of this actual of these cartridges. Not sure how big these actual SSDs are going to be. Again, I saw the picture; they they still be showing three terabyte models. If that's true, if they have three terabyte size, you know, um, cards of this, of this magnitude for this for the system, then we shouldn't have no issues. It's just going to come down to price, you know. It would definitely come down to price. Um. What's up, free flow? What's up? What's up? What's up? I see you. Nathaniel. What's up? I'm going down. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's in here? Uh, J Boss. What's up, Mister? So he said the drives will be proper as they will eliminate piracy. Just my opinion. Yeah, and that could be a day. That could be a thing too. That could be a thing. You never really know. You never really know. That's a good point. It could. Uh, that is very, very true. It could very well stop piracy. But, you know, it's it's just a thought, right? It's a thought-provoking um, idea from Sony. If they are going to go this route with the whole, um, pipe, like, if they're going to go this whole route with cartridges, it's a thought-provoking thing. We already know some, um, Nintendo's doing it, but keep in mind, Nintendo's using a handheld, right? So and they have no choice but to use that with a handheld. They're not sticking disc in no damn handheld and playing no games <laughs> so <laughs> that's why uh nintendo's doing it what's up uh what's up salty i think i saw you in here what's up brother julie what's up and uh, what's up paradoxer shuhei yoshida what's up don't worry about ps5 greatness we got you <laughs> my brother royal what's up brave what's up i didn't even see uh, royal what's up i had to go scroll down the chat all right what's up but anyway, so I don't I don't see that as an issue. I just don't see it. I don't see it as an issue until it gets blown up to something completely different. Then we shall see. You know, we shall see. So that's that's that. As far as Vita, I don't think we'll ever get a Vita, guys. I know a lot of people are getting their hopes up for another handheld. That's kind of one of those luxuries, right? It's one of those. I would say it's a luxury at this point. It's something that you would want, but it's not something that Sony necessarily needs right now on the market, especially with Nintendo doing their thing right now. It's kind of pointless to do it. The best time to launch a Vita 2 would have been around the time the Switch was still in development. That probably would have been the best time to launch a Vita 2, but they didn't do it. So for them to launch a Vita 2 now would be kind of pointless. I don't think it's it's worth it at this point. I don't. Even if they made their separate games for Vita, you got to ask yourselves, what games would they announce for the Vita? Are they going to just rely heavily on PS5 cross-gen titles like they did with PlayStation 3 with Vita? That's not really going to work with the next-gen handheld. That's not really going to sell it at that point, is it? No. They need their most, they need their good old, like, fashion they need their own exclusives at this point that really push it. I remember with PSP, I keep talking about PSP, but PSP was a golden time for handhelds with Sony. They killed it with the PSP. Yeah, I remember Ape Escape Academy. Ape Escape Academy was fire on the PSP. They had Dragon Ball Z Budokai on the uh, PSP. Um, Final Fantasy, they, they had so many crazy games on the handheld. And this is what they need 
for Vita. They really want to push another Vita. So I don't know. I really don't know. You know, Sony's more focused into the into immersing you. So I don't know if they would actually be able to fill a, a Vita with those type of exclusives anymore. You know, I just don't see it. I just don't see it no more, man. Don't see it. Spartan, what's up? Uh, that is true. Yes, Nintendo can do what they want. They just they're in a different leave right now. The message on Twitter, man. Just need time. That's not a. Yeah, you take your time, Don. Just heal up. You'll be all right. Don't worry. Shout out to Don in the chat. Bridges all the way. <laughs> yes, that is true, too. That is definitely, definitely true. Phones are up there in terms of competition. Phones have become pretty much handheld devices in terms of uh, gaming, right? They got accessories for, for these new phones. It's kind of it's kind of pointless, don't you think? It's like wasted money for someone to do that. If you have money to spend, if you have money to throw away, like Microsoft, sure, why not throw something at the uh, throw something at the damn board and hope to catch something? Sure, but right now, ah, the handheld business is either this: you either got something that's appealing, and you either go hard, or you go home type of thing. You know, that's kind of where it's always been with the handheld department. Some people legit love their handhelds more than they love their home consoles. So if you're going to go into the home console space, you're definitely going to have to step it up and really deliver on that front. You know, you're going to have to deliver. Mr. Lansville, what's up? No notification? Yeah, it's YouTube for you. Hit that notification bell for everybody in the chat. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for coming through. Uh, been away, but you already know how it is. That's life for you. You gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta do your thing, man. Get back in the groove. Um So yeah, there's that. I don't think I have to say anything else in terms of the Vita. It's all again, it's all it's all speculation in terms of another Vita. If you get another Vita, I'll be shocked at that point in time. I will legit be shocked. I don't think we'll get one. Um Games over phones or handheld games over phones. Yes, that's true. Shadow says Vita 2 is coming. Again, if I see it, hey Shadow, if I see it, you'll you I'll be the first one to do a video and admit, hey, look, it's coming. I'll be shocked. But right now, <laughs> I don't see nothing that's really uh, giving me the the indication that we're going to get another Vita. I just don't see it. What's going on, Noah, my brother? Good to see you. Good to see everybody. It's been a minute. Michael, what's up, brother? Good to see you. All right. So let's definitely shift the focus a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go to the green side. I know a lot, I've made a lot of good uh, friends over here in the Xbox side, so... Hopefully, um, what I say, y'all already know where I stand. Y'all see me on Breakfast with Boom. Um, all I want is games, games, games. If you give me games, 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 we got no problems. I'll be a happy customer, and I'll be a happy individual. You know, y'all know how I, how I roll. Uh, the situation involving EXO-19. Well, let's talk about it. EXO-19. Well, first of all, the excitement level for this event, I'm just going to keep it 100 with you, everybody in the chat, everybody who might be joining a little later. My excitement level for XO18 or XO19 is if I had a scale to 1 to 10, right, it would be a 2. I'm not expecting anything from this event. I've been hearing rumors of Splinter Cell. Cool. But that's pretty much it. Dude's talking about uh, Bleeding Edge. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what to really expect from this event. Every time we go to an EXO event, whether it be an inside Xbox or something of that nature, we always get some weird, just a weird type of thing. You know, a weird show where it feels like no effort went into it. So if anything, I would want Microsoft to do is to treat this event like an actual event and not a parody show where we're goofing around, we're talking about controllers, we're wearing white gloves, we're caressing systems that no one's going to buy, <laughs> we're bundles that are, make no sense, right? We don't, want, we don't want that. We don't need that. We need actual games. We need actual game announcements. Now, to make this clear, next gen's around the corner. So I, what I mean by I need to see games, I don't mean show me the new titles that are going to be worked on the next uh next generation no 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 i'm not talking about games that's going to be shown on next gen 
I'm talking about games. At least, well, you could show me them, but don't actually show them if that makes sense. Show a title card. You know what I'm saying? Give us a little snippet of what we're going to be experiencing. Give us a hint of what it is. You guys remember, before we got the actual gameplay of The Order 1886, Sony showed you the actual uh, title card. And you had the title card with the moving water effect, you know, the black water effect. And then you got the music and that was it. You didn't really know what else to expect until we got the trailer um, a year later, which showed, you know, the characters. And then they show gameplay in that very same um, event. Do something like that. Build in shriek, you know. But I see dudes talking about, oh, I'd I rather them have something like, um, oh, a customization slot for the new Elite controller. I'm like, listen, <laughs> a customization option for the Elite controller. My thing is this, why Why should time be wasted on that type of stuff? That's an empty slot that can be put towards something that benefits us all as gamers. And that's a huge game announcement. That's what I want, you know? Give me something like that. I don't need stuff like that. I don't need controllers. You know, controllers are meant to be used for games, are they not? I need games. Eddie Brock, you going to stream EXO? More than likely so, yes, sir. Both cringe like the PS5. Yeah. Good point. EXO is going to be cringe. Uh, a man can hope. Hey, listen. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having hope. I, I want to be hopeful for what they got. I want to be open. But it's just like, I don't know how I feel on the matter. You know, I, I try my best here. I'm trying. I'm winging it at this point. Like, guys, just show me something. I, that's all I want. Just show me something that's that's worthwhile. And I think we won't have no problems. But it's like, they don't do that. You know, they don't prioritize this stuff. And that's the reason why these shows have been hurting. I don't really care about xCloud. I don't want to see xCloud. Even though I know xCloud, we all know, right? We all know xCloud is going to be a big, vital part of this show. So I don't, I really don't care about xCloud, though, if that makes sense. I've been hearing too much about streaming. Stadia is on the way. I don't care about xCloud. I just don't. I really don't. If you were hyped for xCloud, then good for you. But after the last demo that we saw where they tried their best or their damnness to try and show that they were running that game at legit, you know, performance, even though it didn't look like she was even playing it, and them just going ghost in terms of showing gameplay from that point forward, it really just, it, it solidifies to me that we're not ready. And those of you that actually supposedly made this work, right, for those of you that are making streaming work for your consoles, where it's actually running no hiccups, that's you. Keep in mind, that's you. You might have a good internet connection versus the other person. If you have a good internet connection, you have a good internet connection. Somebody else might not have a good internet connection. That's just how it is. You know, I'm not saying my internet's bad. My internet's good. But <laughs> not everybody has, you know, five-star internet. You know, not everybody has it. Uh, let's see. Antonio, what's up? What's up, Kevin? Uh... Oh, yeah, they, of course. I'm saying they, they better show games. I need games. That's why I show, tune in for. When is XO19? Isn't it? It's not this week, right? It's next week, right, guys? In the next week? Something like that? Or, or, or this weekend? See, again, uh, nobody even knows when the damn event is. <laughs> I, I, I think it's sometime either next week, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I, I got to look up on the calendar. But, yeah. You already know how it is. What XO? Please, for the love of God, do not show multiplats. Do not do not bombard us with multiplats. Show games that matter. Hype us up. Get us ready for next gen. And for the love of God, earn the trust back for the Xbox community. That's all I gotta say there. Pretty much. Is it this Thursday? He said, "Okay, this Thursday." Uh, what's up, Mr. Williams? What's up, brother? And, uh, I think I said what's up there, buddy. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it on. Hit that like button. Anyway, let's move on to this other one, man. <laughs> so, 
I saw people getting triggered off of this uh, news here. I saw people actually making streams based to it. Um, granted, a lot of these people probably didn't play this game and probably won't play their games. They made their minds up that they won't play this game. But it is what it is. I know how it go. Uh, console war stuff aside, bickering aside. Let's just talk about the situation. So ever since Death Stranding dropped, ever since Death Stranding was even shown, there has been a mystery behind it. And many people can say that that mystery is what sold the game. A lot of people wanted to know what it was about. And now the game is out here and we have the full game. Um, well, you see people complaining about it, talking about uh, it's not X amount of things. But I'm like, it's not really advertised to be those type of things. Now, granted, Hideo Kojima... Hideo Kojima is trying to make his own genre with Death Stranding, and it clearly shows that's what he's aiming for. He's not aiming for your typical stuff, even though it has elements of Metal Gear Solid 4, such as like the, um, what was it, the uh, crouching around, and like the way you throw grenades one night, right? It has elements of Metal Gear Solid. It's not Metal Gear Solid. This is a new type of experience. That's what he's going for. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's amazing or anything of that nature. No, I have to play it first for me to say that, but um visually visually it looks good you know visually it looks good but when i see people complaining about the game for the sake of complaining about the game and then they get triggered when the developer actually responds to this type of stuff now granted the game dropped and immediately was review bombed by not just media but by gamers who supposedly had the game but they were saying this to one of the worst games ever hideo kojima's a hack blah 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 and I'm like, I'm wondering if all these messages would exist if um, he didn't come out just a couple of days before launch and stated that the game was going to PC. That's kind of was my, my mindset reading some of these messages, because if it looked like some of these messages were just like, OK, I'm pissed because it's going to PC type of thing. It didn't even feel like it was genuine. It really didn't. And granted, and granted, some of the positive reviews for Death Stranding didn't make sense. For example, do say, yeah, it's a walking simulator. Yeah, it's boring, right? But the game is great. I'm like, how can something be boring but great? It's either boring or uninteresting. You know what I'm saying? It can't be boring and great. That doesn't make us that doesn't make any sense to me. You know? It felt like some people were trying to wave the white flag. They didn't want to necessarily say anything over negative to Kojima, either because they didn't want to hurt their chances of getting another game for Kojima for free. Y'all know how it goes. Y'all know how the business works, man. Dudes will put up the the, the pillow, right, to, to mend the wound for some of these uh, comments. But, man, looking at the comments from these dudes, I ain't gonna lie. It's sad. It's sad, man. If you weren't interested in Death Stranding, if you were never interested in it to begin with, then guess what? Don't talk about it. Go play something else. Who cares? Star Wars comes out in, what, three days? Who gives a shit about Death Stranding if you're not into Death Stranding? I don't understand why people got to spoil somebody's fun. Now, granted, if this is payback to try and get at them for the whole debacle of Gears of War 5, oh, granted, because I know I was in that debacle when I gave my review of Gears 5, Anybody who gave Gears 5 a good review, yeah, I remember that. It was like a witch hunt. <laughs> I gave Gears 5 a good review. I enjoyed myself. But dude was like, oh, you're a white knight for Xbox. No, I'm just being a gamer. I enjoy a good game. Thought Gears of War 5 had a good story. That's it. Will Death Stranding have a good story? From what I'm hearing, it has a great story. So odds are I might enjoy Death Stranding for that particular element alone. But for everything else, I mean, again, I'm going to have to experience it myself to come to that conclusion so when we break this game down on this channel and i might be a little late with my uh, review so don't worry about me i don't wait up i'll be a little late on my review but when this review drops i mean i'm just gonna be as honest like i'm planning to do for everything on this channel when it comes to reviews i just can't i can't sugarcoat or white knight anything you know i don't if i see a developer willingly trying to do something different and really give you an amazing experience while while at the same time delivering you quality and a game that did not launch with any bugs best believe i'm going to commend that type of developer for what he done because the game has not had any issues at all and this is a game that many people would think would be full of bugs not full of bugs this game ran this game runs good on the next or on the uh, ps4 
and it's going to run even good on PC. Sad but true, but I sad that um, Rockstar couldn't get their game, their Red Dead 2 game, to work on PC. It's funny how that type of stuff gets swept under the rug and nobody's really talking about that or making a big debacle out of that instead of Death Stranding thing. So for Kojima coming out here and making that statement that's saying that, oh, it's not for those who are not intellectually superior. Is that what he said? Something like that? Intellectually, um, I forgot what he said. He said something, but something about your intellect, right? It's not for everybody. It's not for um, Americans who are into the quote unquote shooters. Basically, he's talking about dude bro casuals. If, if you don't get what the, the reference there is, he's talking about dude bro casuals. Um, it's not for dude bro casuals if you want me to put it into layman's terms and if you don't know what a dude bro casual is a dude bro casual is somebody who likes um, just action games like shooters like for example Halo um, you know shooters Call of Duty that's basically what he said um, <laughs> hey, hey, hey leave me alone don't start. Don't start, Aaron. Don't start. <laughs> What's that meant to be a pun? <laughs> but I just find it weird. I find the whole situation weird. Um, who else jumped in here? I'm sorry. What's up, Buck? Roger? Uh, Bilbo, what's up? I'm 30 hours in. I love it. It's something new and different. Definitely has Kojima fingerprints all over it, which I love. Yeah, good. See? There you go. Good for you. Glad you're enjoying the game. Bad latency. The gameplay is horrible. The game is boring. The cutscenes are no longer. The movies Kojima's not that tastes like it's just nine out of ten random review. <laughs> hey, you, you know what? You know what's funny? You're not far from the truth. Some of those reviews, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. They were a little, they were a little cat, uh, sketchy, a little spooky. Some of those uh, reviews. Do saying it's boring. Yes. <laughs> is the gameplay not too good yes but you know something it does something special this is a nine out of ten i'm like listen either you tell this either you speak your mind or you be honest or just or just shut the hell up don't review games just don't do that please you know just don't do that please for the love of god don't do it <laughs> uh Oh God, man! Yeah, pissed off, dude. You told me that yesterday, you fool. Shut up. I don't even read your comment. <clears throat> Lobo say pissing people off, and he does it on purpose. Um, let me see what messages. Uh, I know you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Big Cloud's a crazy YouTuber. You hate to see it. Yes, sir. I am live. What's up, Blackbeard? Uh, <laughs> platform, you send big money, but the hell is big Mike want? What does big Mike want? Huh? What's big Mike want? You want to talk about his yo yo collection? What you want, Mike? What does big Mike want from Big Cloud Gaming? Hang on a second. Uh, let me. Uh, do that <clears throat> uh, I'm surprised none of you heard of do bro casuals come on man I didn't hear about do bro casuals I thought that was a term everybody was familiar with that was one of the things people threw around as, as shade <laughs> it was do bro casuals <laughs> none, of, none of y'all knew what do bro casuals meant none of you come on man really Oh, Lord. All right. Send it to you, Mike, on uh, Twitter. Send it to you. But, um, yeah, chat. All right, so back to topics here. Read the chat again. You picking up Star Wars? Hell yeah, I'm picking up Star Wars. That's been the game I've been hyped for the most. Even though I'm pissed off, there's no dis dismemberment in that game, uh, Royal. I'm pissed off about that. Should have had dismemberment. I don't know why that's not in the game. 
It's awesome. Oh, you, you know what Disney said? Disney gave you the, the biggest fucking PR spin I ever I ever heard. They go, well, the reason why there's no dismemberment in the game, if you go back to what happened in the movies, uh, dismemberment only happens at crucial points of the story. Excuse me? It's a video game. I'm not swinging a damn baton. I'm swinging a damn lightsaber. I can cut through flesh. Give me dismemberment. Seriously. Give me damn dismemberment. Makes no sense. That makes no damn sense. <clears throat> Big problems that most people these days, including do bro casuals, have the attention span of a rodent. So the noise over the <laughs> stranding kiss and all that's impressive. <laughs> hey, oh, that is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> do bro casuals or chats. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> Oh shit! Y'all crazy. <laughs> uh, do bros are all about mindless online. Eh, for the most part. Right when you getting Death Stranding because I have 18 shows on Death Stranding. Good! I'm pretty sure I will make past 40 by the time the week gets through when I, when I eventually get the damn thing. If you prefer the same old shit, there's a game called Call of Duty for you. Facts! Preach! There you go. Preach. What's good there, Ryan? The hell do you want? I just want to, you know, speak up a little bit on Death Stranding. The hell do you want? The hell are you doing here? The hell are you doing here? No, I just want to speak up on Death Stranding a little bit. I think it's a fucking fantastic game. I can understand the love and hate for this game, but I'm think I'm having a fucking blast with this game. It's uh -huh. a whole it's a whole different experience. It's a whole new genre of a game. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you enjoying it like that? How come you're not shushing the baby? I saw one dude making a big deal on Twitter. He was like, "The baby won't shut up. I'm shaking the controller." <laughs> I'm like, "Dog, <laughs> dumbass, you're supposed to sit down and then shake the damn controller. The baby stops. <laughs> you fucking idiot." Oh no, I didn't sit down. I actually uh, no. I'm talking like the way he was doing it because you, know, you can pause the game and sit down. And rest. Oh yeah. Yeah, he, he, he was trying to do it that way. I'm like, no, you supposed to shake the control while you're doing that <laughs> to make the baby stop crying. Then he got like, the baby's still crying. I'm like, oh god, dude's trying a little too hard with this. <laughs> uh, Gaminator it, said, "Are you getting the new Terminator game? I will try to get a review copy for that." Fuck Terminator. I'm gonna get a review copy for that. <laughs> Run on the PC. Why not? That game looks like boo bad booja, bad bougie. But yeah, no, uh, but uh, it's it's a great experience so far. I'm having with Death Stranding, and I know you said you're going to get it. You're going to you know give us your full review. Mm -hmm. uh, the combat's fluid. It, it's super fun. I uh, uh, none none fun about that combat, sir. You didn't like the combat? I so think it's fun. You're using brief. You're throwing briefcases like a female. I mean. I didn't throw no briefcases you, when you, I was. You're throwing briefcases like that dude from uh, Austin Powers when he threw his shoe. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't throw any briefcases, but I you had. You can throw you know, punches, but your punches are like limited. Again, depends on how dude, much shit is on your back. <laughs> dude, I was throwing punches like, you know, fucking Kofi Kingston over here. No, nah, you know what's funny? You know what's interesting? <laughs> you're, you're basically a walking semi truck. Yeah. That's what you it know, is. You're I, a walking semi truck. But I also like the, you know, the mechanics to the game where, you know, how you have to walk, you have to like either hold, you know, alternate, well, not hold, but alternate L2, R2, and all that. Yeah, I think that's cool. Yeah. There's no other game that's done that. Yeah, that's true. No, no game's trying to be ultra realistic, which is true. So that is like totally original. Like, I had one fanboy told me, oh, that's, that's been done. He goes, Shenmue 2 has done that. I was like, since when did Shenmue 2 do that? I was like, that's a QT event. I, I just watched. Hey. Hey, Don, for, for your sake, I hope you at least finish and beat the game because there's a lot of people. Oh, I'm, hey, gonna I'm not going to say it, but a lot of people I've been seeing who get these games and they don't even so much beat the story, but they just rush to like get them mm -hmm. just for the views. That's it. It's like, uh, right, it's, right. It's, it's actually hurtful. I, I saw some of the stuff, man. I ain't going to lie. Some of these reviewers, bro, they're still sitting on these games. Right. I'm talking this way back as 2015, they came out. Mm -hmm. have I, not I, totally agree. I have not reviewed them. I was like, yep. 
had not reviewed them, nor had they even touched them or beat them. And, and some that they have touched, I'm talking the only the only progression that they've done is probably to like chapter three and stopped and moved on to another game and basically gave their opinion off of chapter three. I'm on uh, chapter two, of them, I believe, and I'm like maybe five hours in the game. Yeah. I'm loving it. I think you'll like it. Yeah. Wait, do you think Not it's going to be game the, of the year? Uh, uh, he's a... Uh, uh, <laughs> that sounds spooky though, right? He's like, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know about all that. Huh? Know, we'll see. We'll see. It could be. It could be. It could be. Uh, do you have any lesser-known game recommendations? Hmm. What else is coming out, though? That's the thing I'm trying to think. That Star might Wars, Pokemon. It. Yeah, if you send the Pokemon, I guess, even though they removed, what was it, half the Pokemon in this one? Oh, here we go. Um, have you seen the fucking up one of that, even? Who gives a shit? They removed half the damn creatures. The fuck? That's what I said. I said, who gives a fuck? Who gives a the- shit? I said, it's a new fucking generation of Pokemon. I said, get over yourselves. Oh, but my Skitty's not in the fucking game. I was like, fuck Skitty. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like, how many damn seasons is Pokemon on? Like 39? Right. <laughs> and they can't fit 39 seasons of Pokemon in this fucking game. Right, and they like- do. It should be in a AAA game. Like, I'm talking full-fledged AAA game. Kind of like, well, I wouldn't say Pokemon Coliseum, but I would say, like, you know, bigger you know, bigger type of thing if they wanted to do that, but still, that's a lot of Pokemon. So now, the cool. one thing I did see uh, someone post about the Pokemon is uh, the 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 in game volume. It's locked behind a paywall. That's what for Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't change the you know like the in game volume. If you want to turn the like the menu volume down, you can't you can't do it unless you buy these expensive earbuds. Yeah. Okay. I can kiss my ass with that. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> and they can kiss my ass on that. <laughs> uh, Gunner, I never knew Dino Crisis 1 and 2 plus. Uh, I said 2 and 3 and PC port 2. Did they? Oh, shit. Didn't even know that. I looked that up. That's why I said don't be a dad, Mike. Oh, God. <laughs> Shut up, Lobo. <laughs> don't be a dad. Don't what? poop grenades enough, said. <laughs> Dude, fuck Uber Gates. I was pissing on BTs, man. I'm actually far up in the chat. I gotta scroll down. They talk Kobe Kings. I said that a while ago. Uh, Whoops. <laughs> Let me scroll. All right, Lobo. That's all I'm doing. You know, I whipped it out and just pissed on some BTs last night. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't know. They, they go a little extra detailed with this one. I mean, I saw him. I mean, <laughs> they showed when he was peeing in the toilet. Then they showed the pee filling up in the little tube. They was like, oh, you have a grenade. It's like, oh, shit. Yes. That is awesome. That's not awesome. That is weird. I don't need to see that. That's fucking place. funny as fuck. You know, you, you get to actually throw your fucking pee at people as a grenade. That, that shit is awesome. You heard it. And, you, uh, you heard it live, people. In the future, your pee will be a deadly grenade. I mean, it, it can be. And uh, when you take a poop, <laughs> I, don't know, I know you haven't tried it, but when you take a poop, the thing closes behind you, and you'll and you'll see like promotion for the his TV show, The Ride. Mm. Uh, on the window, and when you uh, sit there and watch them, you, you hear the the noise. He goes, <laughs> oh I, will, I will say this: it was funny. So I saw a girl streamer doing it. Um, you know when he's peeing or whatever. Right. Um, as he was done peeing, she tried to look down. You know, at his junk because it was the part where he was naked. I did that. Did that I did that he last night. He punched the shit out the camera. I did that last night. You're weird. You're weird. But he, he punched the shot. He punched the shot the camera. That's what Rashad told me. <laughs> Shots to Rashad. He's like, Mike, you're a weirdo. I said, hey, you're how? Weird. Yeah, I said, you're weird. I, 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 I made the video and put it on Twitter. I said, check out my guns. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I got crazy with this Death Stranding shit. Well, there's Death Stranding for you. Um, anybody in the chat, I don't know if y'all got it, if y'all, inter- if y'all enjoying, if you're enjoying Death Stranding, good for you, hope you guys enjoy the game, um, at least it's something for you, right, but for those that might not be for, eh, just skip it, you know, if it ain't for you, go ahead and wait for that, uh, Star Wars, that's about to drop, that's gonna be fire, so, you got something to look forward to there, 
if you're not into Star Wars, you got other games to look forward to, which I will definitely. Warriors Force says you have to hate Death Stranding because you made your mind up there, Ryan. Hmm? Warriors Force says Ryan hates Death Stranding because he made his mind up. I made my mind up. I'm still going to get it. Oh, that's what Glorious War said. I'm still getting it. I have made my mind up. Don't start with me, goddammit. I ain't made my mind up. <laughs> I ain't said nothing. I said nothing bad. Nothing. I'm quiet. Amazon Prime and, Delivery Simulator featuring R. Kelly. <laughs> and it's more than just a walking yeah. simulator because you're doing more than just walking. You, you can actually climb up mountains, build ladders to... Uh, to go up mountains really yeah, across everybody's them. connected yeah i knew all this from pr yeah mm-hmm. i think that's cool too that you know that's another cool thing i everybody like contributes about to building something there's like there might not be a bridge there when you first go past it but a little bit of time in the game you might see a full-fledged bridge to one area mm-hmm. which is really cool that everybody contributed to building so basically it's kind of like you're making your own society and eventually <laughs> when you get the full game at a later time Let's say if you wait a year, right? Now, now real talk. Yeah, let's say if you wait a full year, you didn't buy Death Stranding, and you got it super, super cheap. There might be a whole utopia built in the damn game. Right. You might not even, and that's the crazy part, because there's so much shit in there. There's battery there's no charges other- for the car or for the um, for the bike. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of cool stuff they can do to expand the game and, and just improve stuff. So, yeah, they, they have some cool uh, things working for them there. And there's no really other game that's done that. I mean, that's tried that feat and doing that feature that Stranding's doing. Yeah. Uh, I know I'm currently playing, but I'm all right. No. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Billy? So, again, that's cool. If you're into that type of stuff, or if you're into it, you're building the building stuff, oh, yeah, you're going to like Death Stranding. That's cool. Everybody is uh, integral to building it, so that's cool. It's gonna be interesting when I when I get this. It's definitely going to be interesting. I'm definitely looking forward to it, though, for sure. Ice Queen says she's sending you food in Death Stranding. Oh God, leave me alone, Don. <laughs> no, apparently you can message people from Death Stranding, like send a message, like what's up. Uh, like, I don't know how you can do that. I think she said she was doing that through Death Stranding. Is that true? I don't think you can like, send like a, a message, but you can like leave a sign. Like, you know, the warm people. Like I, know they, you can, I know you can use a sign like, hey, I left this here or whatever. Yeah, yeah you can do like, you can like leave signs and stuff uh, for like, you know, other pe- players. Like if a boss is coming up, you can like say caution mm-hmm. and things like that. Like you can do in Dark Souls and Bloodborne and shit like that. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, this game's going to be, damn, that's, just, that's crazy. If y'all think about everybody in the chat um, about Death Stranding. This whole game is going to be a whole, it might be a whole different shebang when you eventually get it, especially if you wait lower or uh, later. I said lower, but you wait later. So that's cool. That's definitely cool. That's a new, that's a new way of telling a story. That's a new way of storytelling. Very intriguing. Very, very, very intriguing indeed. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. And Eon 8 has a good point. Uh, the stuff that you build, like ladders and bridges, they can deter- deteriorate. So you have to, as a community, you know, maintain them, at, maintain them, and leveling them up. Also, I I, may, I leveled my bridge yesterday or last night about five in the morning. I haven't like uh, I ain't gonna lie. I've been my sleep's been like out of whack. I've been like staying like awake till like eight nine in the morning playing fucking that stranding. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's definitely cool. Sad you don't see reviewers talking about that now, do you? No. No, no, no. We don't want to talk about that. We want to talk about the poop grenades. <laughs> I mean, so I like playing with poop, don't you, Ryan? <laughs> ejecto. <laughs> ejecto. <laughs> I guess. Ejecto, cuz. I'm just kidding, man. All right. Uh, what else was happening gaming news wise, people? Oh, I don't know if you want to add on to X one nineteen since you're in here. So you cried to get in here. What you what you expect from X one nineteen? Uh, I what I expect is you know to see a, a announcement for Battletoads, the release date, mm-hmm. and maybe yeah. a, an announcement and a release date for uh, Leading Edge. I don't. I'm keeping my expectations low on the, the X because the last one was meh. 
mm-hmm. if you know what I mean. But we'll see what you know what they're going to bring. It's and I think it's this week. Okay. GTA Six has it been revealed? Has not been revealed, but job listings are showing that there's going to be there's more to it. Out I here. don't know. There's more Danny, to it out here. I don't know. Danny ha- came across something. I don't know if you mentioned I about saw it. it. I saw it, and people damage controlled it. Me again. Um, a little too far fetched for it to be not true, right? For what they showed. Right. It doesn't, that's a little odd that a developer would show something, right? And it would go to like a secure page and then it would say secure page officially private now. Nah, mm-hmm. no developer does that. That that obviously means that the it was happening and then they had it on the on the mindset. On the meta or something. Yeah, it was, it was on the mindset. They probably were going to do it or announce like a page to go, hey guys, look, here's some teasers. You know what they probably were doing? They're probably getting it ready for like a teaser. And mm-hmm. then go and, and go, hey, look, you go to our website, you know, check out for the details of the game. And then what happened was he leaked it. That's, that's probably what it was. So it's interesting. Um, obviously, it's going to be full blown next gen. So it's not going to drop on PS4 or um, Xbox One X. And speaking of Xbox One X, I saw a video today. I don't know if anybody in the chat saw it. It made me cringe. <laughs> I'm be honest with y'all, it made, it made me cringe, people. Uh oh. Made me really, really cringe. <clears throat> now, y'all already know the situation with Microsoft. Y'all already know the situation with the lack of games or whatnot. The fact that I see a video talking about an Xbox One X Super Slim. Um, I don't know how I reply to that. That's right. We're talking about Xbox Super Slims now, people. Super Slims? Super Slims. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Why are we talking about Xbox well, Super Slims? Well, why, well, as I'm asking, well, why, what's the point of an Xbox Super Slim? We already have the Xbox Slim, and we already know the use of this. Now we're talking about Super Slims? I, I think that's stupid as fuck, if you ask me. But, I mean, do each their own. If somebody wants to buy one, go right ahead. I ain't going to... Shame you, but to each their own. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone watch Muscle Bound Gamer? Just wondering. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, he's been more. Uh, he's been doing other stuff. I don't know. Y'all, into, if y'all, into, let me know if y'all interested in me talking to Muscle Bound Gamer. As a matter of fact, I'll throw a, I'll throw a curveball at everybody in this chat. Would y'all be interested in me talking to the Mooch or Cody Sweat on this channel? Go for it, man. I'm talking to them, not you, damn it, shut up. Get out. Leave. Leave me. <laughs> you need me. You need me. <laughs> Funny shit. Somehow. Somehow <laughs> <Slip my throat, laughs> throw, goddamn. This is too shit. <laughs> Paperweight, another skew, shaking my. Yeah, it's stupid. I, I saw a video for I'm like, why are we talking about a super slum, for God's sake? Super slums? Why? What what guys name? What am I gonna do with a super slim? <laughs> I don't get it. Now, granted, y'all remember what the Xbox 360? Remember 360 had it all, right? Y'all remember them them dope ass designs. I know Mike remembers them, them dope ass 360 designs. When we got into the Xbox 360 Elite models, and then we got into the Elite Slim, which supposedly fixed the overheating issue, which was the slim. You know what I'm talking about? The black one with the vents yeah. on the side. Dog, those were the sickest. Um, designs Microsoft drive for a console. Those are just sick. So it made sense for them to drop those because they were already like out there with the market, right? They were doing their thing. But for them to drop another Xbox One S or whatever, I don't even think it's an X at this point. It's an S, right? So a super slim for the S. Mm-hmm. I that's a dud to me. Yeah, that's a dud to me. It was that's like the dud. Xbox. It's the Xbox One Sad Edition. I thought it was a dud as yeah, well. Yeah, that's like, a dud. And, and we found out the reason why they called it the Sad Edition. They literally, it was the exact same model. They just removed the disc tray and closed right. it. That's it. So I I don't know. I really don't know. So what, is it going to be a super sad edition? Is it not going to have a, <laughs> is it not going to have the disc drive? It is going to be like a Roku box? How, how small can you make the system? It's already small as it is. Mm-hmm. You know, it's already small as it is. How small can you make the the Xbox One? 
And why even bother? <laughs> the units for the Xbox One are, are like, what, 46 million? Supposedly? Yep. So, yeah, for those of you wondering, for those of you that want the numbers, there are 46 million Xbox Ones out there in the world. 46. That's out of seven, or actually, when did the PS3 come out? 2013, right? So seven years. No, wait, no. Wait, no, no. No, I'm fucking, I'm wrong. And to me, I'm not saying that's a bad number, but that's kind of spooky. That number is. Yeah. Sad. And Don wants you to suggest that what about Crap Gamer coming on the show? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was the wrong laugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Don. Uh, it's just Star Wars around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Gus, the best, shittiest laugh I could do. I'd rather kiss the toilet hear, seat and talk that Did you hear what Google Stadia's launch titles are? What's up? Uh, the Gaming Nader want to know if you've heard about the, the launch titles for Google Stadia. And what uh, do you think? Did I hear about their launch titles? Then I already have some. Um, you know, I would not be surprised if Mortal Kombat was on there. I would not be surprised... Really, they're still looking for exclusives, are they not? They're looking for a must-have exclusive, aren't they, right now? I don't think they have. I, uh, I don't think they were open about it, I don't think. I think there's a couple exclusives for it, but not a lot. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, PS3 came out. To the... Yeah, it was 2013. My bad. I'm all over the place. Uh, thank you. Do you know the idiot? Why would you need to collab with people, right? <laughs> Oh, that's but, the last I want to talk about. <laughs> but the full slate of titles for the Google Stadia are Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Destiny 2 The Collection, mm -hmm. GYLT, Just Dance 2020, Kind, Mortal Kombat 11, Red Dead Redemption 2, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Samurai Showdown, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Definitive Edition, and Thumper, and Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Yeah, it's not Those really the, a, a, a must-have lineup. Oh, it's not must have at all. But again, they're they're promising that they can do X amount of things you at what sixty frames. So we shall see. I doubt it. You should have uh, you should have applied for one, man, and see if you could have got a review copy. For what the damn stadium? I am not trying that shit. Yeah, out. I am not trying that shit. He's. <laughs> I'm not trying that shit up, man. You, you're supposed to be the the best PR, man. Uh, fuck that, man. You better, you better go. <laughs> you better go. You better go. You better, hey, you know what? You, better you know what PR here, is man. supposed to do. You know what PR is supposed to do. I know, but that's one shit I'm not into. I'm not into fucking streaming <laughs> shit. I mean, us us PRs, we got to shill. Uh, we gotta Dude, shill the it moment, out. listen, listen. I, I, this is this how this is how pissed I would get if I was playing a damn game streaming wise, right? If I'm at a crucial part in the game, and let's say it's a game I did not play before, let's say if it was Rise of the Tomb Raider or Shadow of the Tomb Raider, right, guys? And I get to a part in the story, and I'm actually enjoying the hell out of the story. And I know Jonah, right? Let's say they zoomed in on Jonah, and it's a crucial point with Jonah, and they just have this big patch, this black spot come out of nowhere saying, oh, stream quality low. You don't think that's going to piss me off? Come on, man. I don't need that shit. What do you mean, maybe? Oh, God. <laughs> Man, you're a sellout. That's all I gotta say. I'm not a sellout. You're like a sellout. You. you probably gonna buy it for Just Dance. So I actually have even, I have no interest in the fucking machine. You gonna buy that Just Dance? I mean, Danny told me I you bought, bought Michael Jackson the experience. So let's just not even do that. Who? Danny he said you bought Michael Jackson the experience. <laughs> I do not have on the Wii. Michael Jackson. I do not have Michael Jackson experience. I bet you bought on the Wii. You was doing the moonwalk. The he he. I mean. I might have. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Actually, I bought you know the, the Beatles edition. Oh God! I mean, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I mean, it's an Xbox Wait edition. Oh God. The X. <laughs> One person said it is the Xbox uh, Depression edition. Uh, all right, I will. I will consider it for um, muscle about gaming and. Uh, Probably much. Probably. I'll probably do it, but one thing I will not do. Uh uh. No. No, 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 no. How you going? 
I ain't talking to what's your face. I can't do that. Uh-uh. No. Ain't talking to what's her face, dude. Uh, I can't talk to that dude. That you know. Oh. He who shall not be named. No. Oh. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> oh no. No, oh, no. <laughs> every day, every day is some groundbreaking news that I never heard of. <laughs> that doesn't make any goddamn sense. But well, whatever, people, people click on it. People click on I it. I mean, Savage Lobo, you're not wrong. Ryan did buy Super Lucky Tales. He bought three copies. Okay. <laughs> Anybody in the chat is, is laughing at you. Who knows me? <laughs> what's up, Fatal? Sure, what's up? Lobo, he even told me it's going to be his game of the year. Super okay. Lucky Tales. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah, now they believe you, right, Mike? <laughs> I didn't believe you. Said no one else. Not crazy. Game of the year. <laughs> My game of the year will more than likely be. What was that game that came out? I forgot. Hold on. See? So no. it's such a good, such a no. game of the year. You already forgot no. about it. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> see if these would be my game of the year before that shit becomes my game. Of the year. <laughs> see if these. Ryan is a chicken. Oh shit, Dawn. She calls me a chicken. Okay. <laughs> okay. Savage, savage is being the, the chat is being savage tonight to Ryan. Everybody wants to be savage to me. Hmm? Everybody wants to be savage to me. I'm a nice guy. I do nothing. He believes Mike. Huh? You're fired. So I told you. I told you. Lobo believes me. He's fired. <laughs> is he fired from the Black Order? <laughs> He's fired everywhere. He's fired everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Papers. Oh mm. shit. I serve that pink slip. Someone's like, get the fuck out now. You know what's <laughs> funny? It was a game called GTFO. Yes. Uh, I don't I don't know what the hell that was about. Yeah, I thought it was a horror game. It looks yeah, interesting. That, was it a horror game? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's, it's, it's gonna be kinda like a horror game, but I I'm actually interested in the game when it relaunches. It's supposed to be uh on Stadia, I think, as well. Hmm. Insane. She called me crazy. She's not gonna let it go. She ain't gonna let it go. <laughs> Put some respect on CFT. <laughs> she out crazy. Leave me alone. Let that game go. Let that go. <laughs> I mean, it is a sinking ship. CFT says it's already been sunk. <laughs> I should already been sunk. CF thieves. Anyway, there's that CF thieves junk. Uh, I don't know what else to say on that matter. I don't. Don't? Huh? You don't know what to say, else to say? No, I don't know what to say on that matter involving CFDs. Like, my mind went blank when we talked about CFDs. I want to hear, I don't know if you touched on it. I want to hear your, like, your opinion on what you thought Kojima said yesterday on his I, statement. You late as hell. I talked about it. I said, I, like I said, I might have been late. I don't know. Yeah, you're late. You missed it. Oh, damn. Yep. You think he's wrong, then? No. I don't... I, See, his game's been getting review bombed, and obviously act out to those people. I'm pretty sure that's probably why he's doing it. Come on. Kojima might be... Kojima's a few things. Savage is definitely one of them. <laughs> Unpredictable <laughs> is another, right? We don't know much right. what he would do. But you know one thing as well. He's very vocal, and he's very active on Twitter. So, mm -hmm. of course, he sees the ridiculous shit on Twitter. He sees the posts. He sees all that. He's either laughing at it or cringing at it. So obviously he right. replied to it. That's pretty much what it was, his reply. Um, is he right for saying it? Again, that's his opinion. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's his opinion. Uh, do I like, agree with his I, opinion? I, there are casuals who act like fucking uh, weirdos. We, we know this. Right. There are casuals who act like weirdos when it comes to gaming. So whether or that's not it. that's true or not, and what he's saying, again... Uh, <laughs> what can you do at this point? <laughs> what can you like, do? I replied uh, yesterday because I got in like a heated argument with uh, Uka Terry about it, and she thinks uh, you know he's wrong and delusional for saying those things. I said, well, he's not wrong. As a, most of these people and the top playing, I mean, the top most genre playing is action, is an action game, hmm. and if you think about it, most action games are. Do bro games like Call of Duty, fucking Madden, but FIFA. A lot of people didn't know what that was. I'm shocked that people didn't know what do bro means. That's what it means. People do bro shit. She's like, she's like, you can't count, you know, 
She was like sitting there telling me, you can't count fucking Call of Duty as an action game. I said, of course it is. I said, uh, it is an action game. What the hell is it? Said, this is this ain't strategy. That's what I said. What the fuck what is, is it? Strategy? It's an action game. I said, I said, it may be a shooting game, but it's an action no, game. No, Call of Duty is the new checkers. That's what exactly. That's well, what it is. Well, well, what the hell? I, I don't get it. That doesn't make any sense. We can't call Call of Duty an action game. What the fuck is Call of Duty? Can somebody explain to me what Call of Duty is in the chat? What's Call of Duty? It's like, it's a shooter, Mike. It's not, it's not an action game. I'm said. Okay. I could have sworn shooting games was action because, you know, you're shooting. Uh, I mean, that's what I thought. I mean, hell, maybe maybe we're wrong. I'm looking at my gun. Just, you know, to mem- just, you know, What's up, see, how What's up, Blue? see how beautiful it is. I'm like, damn, this is a nice gun. This is the reason I bought the Call of Duty. Just look at this gun. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's any redemption left in Call of Duty. <laughs> I don't know, man. People, I don't know. People buy into shit. Oh, you know what's funny? I was gonna. <laughs> Fatal said, "I think Call of Duty is a fighting game now." It's a fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie it's Brock trash. says, "Pod is a pla- Pod is a platformer." It's a platformer. <laughs> <laughs> Fatal says, "Cod is RPG now." <laughs> it's an RPG. Y'all crazy. <laughs> What is Fortnite exactly? Exactly. I, I, What's I Fortnite? I don't get it. I don't get that that statement. I mean, again, if you don't want to be, if you don't want to, it's one thing to say something, right? But it's another to say something to support your argument. It's like, come on, man, stop, stop it. Stop. Right. Don't try to pad your argument with bullshit. Just, just be honest here. What That's why I told her. I said you're just trying to, you know, fit, make this shit to fit your narrative. Yeah, right? shit. It's not like the first time she's done that shit. Right. It's not the first time. But we still love you, Terry. We still love exactly. you, Terry. That's what I said. I, I still, still love you. you. I said, but you're, I said you're, you're taking an L in this comment. Sure, I got a voodoo <laughs> doll right now stabbing the shit out of his thinking to me. <laughs> you ain't not she be. Like, I fucking hate big fucking clown stabbing that shit. Ryan's got Destiny 2 on PC. Don says, oh, shit. I knew he was a long, long time Destiny fan. If I was on Destiny, like, do you really think I'd be live streaming right now? I've been, I would be completely ghost. <laughs> See, I've been ghost on this channel to begin with. Anyway, shit is going on. I've been busy. I've been telling, look, guys, I've been telling him every day, get the content out, get the content out. I'm his fucking manager. I've been telling him this, guys. Yeah. Why is He's been that slacking. Uh, that's weird. What's weird? No, I said. Uh, we was mentioning this. I don't know. My main glitch on YouTube. I don't know. I'm always on my phone. Uh, <laughs> oh God. So there was that bullshit. So you don't think uh, this will affect the game? Nah, I don't think, comment, the you don't think it's affecting the game. Anything I don't makes think him like a beast? Nah. What? They don't make him like a beast. They don't make him like a, a G. I'm doing that. Mm-hmm. No? Nope. Nah. Well, I'm shocked. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm shocked. Don't be shocked. I am shocked. Hey, look. All I gotta say is we got 63 people in this fucking chat watching us. They need to hit that like button. Yeah, he said it with authority, guys. Right. Don't make the Black Order come after you. Guys, he said it with, he said it with authority. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mike has authority, I guess. I don't know. I'll Thanos snap your ass. Thanos snap. <laughs> Damn. You trying to you just trying to fight everybody. Okay. I mean, I will. Watch Terry show up in the chat and just bum rush the chat. I can already see her just bum rushing you. I mean, I whooped your ass in Tekken a couple times. Ooh, what, her chat? Uh, but she's not I playing see- Death Stranding, is she? No. No, she's not picking it up. She said it's not worth sixty dollars or eighty four dollars that I paid for it. <laughs> Well, but, to each but, their own. But, to, to, each, to each their own, I guess. And now we're going. He didn't hear what I said there, Lobo. Ryan didn't. Where he said I was trying to fight everybody. I said, hell, I said, I whooped Ryan's ass in Tekken. Oh, God, sure you did. <laughs> I did. I broke I broke your ankles a couple times. <laughs> a couple times you mean once. <laughs> you like that spam shit that I do. Oh, God. I don't know. Oh, God. 
So when I first played, he's like, yeah, I'm going to whoop your ass, man. I'm like, okay, he picks Bob, does the dumbest shit. I'm like, you fucking motherfucker. <laughs> Actually, no, I beat your ass twice. I, I, I beat yeah, like, no, Bob? you did that. You went to fucking Akuma, did a sweep. I was yeah, like, okay. Exactly. That, yeah. I, I fucking had a well scout. It wasn't you're like, good. that's it, motherfucker. Here comes the Church of Ra. <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're dead. Here comes the Church of Ra. <laughs> exactly. So on that shit last night. Hang on live. It was on the last night. <clears throat> Making progress. Just playing online. But, um, yeah. I have fun with them. It's, it's still good. Right. Supposedly, they nerfed Akuma's meter gain, so that's interesting. Not like it's going to change the thing. You're getting, uh, you are getting Star Wars, ain't you? Yeah, I'm hyped for that. You gonna stream it? Um. You should stream a little bit of it. Maybe. Mm, maybe. I'm I'm looking for other ways with the channel. I'm looking for other things to do. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be more creative on the channel. You know what I might do? I might just get on camera and go Whoa. traditional. Yeah, might go back on. To, I might do camera uh, for my news and whatnot. Do it. It's good I'm doing the stream, too. You guys heads up for this shit. Because, you know, it'd be funny as hell if I do that. Like, Who the hell is that? I mean, <laughs> I'm sure, you know, Don wants to see your sexy face. Sure, you saw it. You late? <laughs> she might pay to see your sexy face again. Then Don, he said it. Attack him. He's on Twitter. His name is Big Mike on Twitter. I don't attack me. I mean, if you want to attack me, also follow me on Twitter. Oh God. <laughs> Never mind, Don. Mute him and block him. Never mind. <laughs> that man crazy. I'm definitely hyped for Star Wars. Uh, Jamar Bates, man. It looks I'm sick, but um. I'm. I just don't want them to go into that dumb territory where they have microtransactions. That's the thing that scares me. Even Danny says that's the thing that scares me because so it looks like it, it looks like it might because when you pre-order the game, it says you can unlock uh, <laughs> certain colors for your lightsaber. I'm like, God, do it to see your ugly look. Yeah, savage. <laughs> Blue says, show more cleavage, Ryan. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's direct towards you. Not me. Uh, towards you. And I and uh, Dawn said she said she would pay to see you on YouTube. See your face. Oh, God. There you go, Ryan. You can be making that money. No. You can be the next Magic Mike. The what? <laughs> what is going on in the chat? <laughs> I said you could be the next Magic Mike. You, you're Dare me Magic to do the Mike? one ship channel. You want me to die like Kiss Move? Nah, I'm good. Shout out to Kiss Move, but I'm like, bro, <laughs> I don't know how much they paid this man to do that one ship channel, but this man was wrapped up like a damn uh, centipede. Dude. Like, oh, bro, he had me crying. I would love to see you do the Pacta Challenge. I'm not doing any goddamn shit. <laughs> <laughs> I see what y'all did. No, I see what y'all did to uh, to Dan with the damn. I, I forgot what it was. It was soda or some shit. Uh, listen, that can't be me. Why? That can't be me because I wouldn't. I wouldn't recover from that type of stuff. You won't recover. <laughs> I wouldn't recover if that was me. Uh, can't do it. That shit was good. That shit was golden. You see what we did about it? The platinum. Ah. Uh, oh, oh, with yeah. the 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 stuff on his face. Oh yeah, the stuff on his face and everything. We sent him outside with the, with, with like a white face on his face. <laughs> what? Yeah, we sent him outside the, in his neighborhood with a white oh, face no. on, saying he was the worst Mortal Kombat 11 player ever. He Here's called the, you a hoe. <laughs> who's a hoe? He called you a hoe, Blue. He says, show less cleavage, you hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm trying. <laughs> uh, what's up, Wolfo? <laughs> yeah, crazy. Uh, y'all see that? Um, let's uh, let's chat a bit. Hold on, let me switch a little bit more. It's going to cruise control with us. Y'all see I that new you. um Sonic trailer? Yes, I actually like it. I'm still not interested in this shit. I'm not. I want to see the movie, but it ain't gonna be like a day one. But the redesign. Looks much better than what we saw. Looks much better. Saw. It looks accurate, but at the same time, who cares? Exactly. I not, I even said that today. I said, see what happens when you take a little time and you know look at the source material, what you what you can get. 
I said, now we don't have, you know, a Sonic Fox fucking fur baby in our Sonic movie. Yeah, he, looked, he had beady eyes in the first one. It was, it was weird. He, he legit looked like a, a hedgehog. Hedgehog. I'm like, uh, he's not supposed to look like that, sir. Looks weird with his legs and everything. It was like, yo, this looks yeah, weird. It, it looked like a fucking Sonic, like Sonic Fox had a baby. Yeah. <laughs> See Los in the building. What's up, brother? And uh, Don, no, not Don, to answer your question, Wolf, the only ladies in this chat right now is, is Ryan. The what? <laughs> She's the oldest lady. What the? Okay. The only lady it's in our in our voice chat is you, I said. You don't want to show on the cleavage according to Blue, so I don't know about that. <laughs> See? Hey, you contradict the hell out of yourself. He told you to show less cleavage. He called you a hoe. Huh? I don't See, know, man. Blue says he looks terrible, but looks a thousand times more interesting. A thousand times more interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Is it my um? Who got? Who has Mortal Kombat Eleven? I do. Why you want these hands? I'm actually thinking about getting because we're getting closer to what the spawn DLC. Right. But When's it know. drop next year? <laughs> That's what they're gonna do. They're like spawning out the DLC like every three or four months. They want to make this uh, DLC last like two years. Yeah, or, like, ten two. years. Yeah. I'm like, I, I guarantee you, people are already tired of the damn Arnold DLC. I mean, I hardly play the game anymore. Get I, over I, here. But I mean, I'll play it, play it, and you know, give you some hands, and you know, whoop your ass here and there if you need some competition. Oh God. Be your worst nightmare. Yeah. Okay. You said that about Tekken. <laughs> And Don answered your uh, my question. He says, "Big Mike, I've already seen Ryan. He is, but I'm willing to pay even more to see him again." Wait, what? So, there you go. You said what? You're what I said. I didn't start it. Oh Lord, here we go. Um, <laughs> uh, go enjoy yourself there, uh, Sean. They're just coming through, brother. Appreciate you. He said he's gonna go pick up his copy. Uh, his copy of what? Battle Ryan stopped picking on me. I didn't say a word. Why? Oh, God. See? Make me look bad. I don't like it, man. I ain't saying nothing. Dawn told me to smack the shit out of you and quit picking on her. Dawn always slaps me every chat. She told me to slap the shit out of you and quit picking on her. (laughs) (laughs) If you want to slap me, let's just put on uh, on Tekken if you want to play something. I don't know. Uh, as soon as I'm probably done with this, I'm going to jump on and watch Mandalorian. Mandalorian? What's on Twitter? I mean, uh, Netflix now? Disney Plus, man. Disney I, Plus I is keep, I keep getting yeah, Disney Plus for the thing. Yeah, so yeah Disney launched... Plus launched today. Oh, launched today. Mm-hmm. Uh, so do, you, do they it, have one right now? What's on it as available? Like 2,000 movies and TV shows? Over 2,000? Not to any of the new shows debut, like Wanda and Vision... Um, uh, no, one of ain't on there, but the Mandalorian's on there. Uh, Lady and the Tramp, the new Lady and Tramp li- live action movie. Mike gives it down. I mean, I'm gonna watch it. I mean, it's free. You're a weirdo, you're a weirdo. Lady and I mean, the Tramp. I mean, it's free. I didn't pay a goddamn dime. Yeah, speaking of that, if yo, you have Danny, a- yo, Danny, you need to check Big Mike. This man tried to see Lady and the Tramp. I didn't say it was free. I'm going to check it out. I'm more hyped. Why, why, why entertain that shit? I don't get it. I'm more hyped for Mandalorian. You're the problem, man, because you already know they're going to remake Hunchback of Notre Dame, and that's when our childhoods are really going to get killed. Like <laughs> <laughs> the Hunchback of Notre Dame. You know what's going to happen. I don't know why people act surprised when I say this shit. It's going to happen. You're going to get the Hunchback of Notre Dame remake. Watch. Okay. Disney's going to throw a shit ton. I mean a shit ton of money into that to get that done. And I'm pretty sure they're going to wait till Notre Dame's fixed, right? Cause didn't Notre Dame have a huge fire or something like that? And I broke it. The cathedral? <laughs> I mean, I think Danny is, you know, the hunchback of Notre Dame, so maybe. Huh. <laughs> he says, "LOL, lives are lost." <laughs> Danny did. Uh, Gamingator says, "Mike, I don't, I can't get Disney Plus till March 2020." I'm sorry to hear that, fam. But yeah, uh, if you are a Verizon customer, I don't know if you know this, Ryan. Mm. Uh, you can get Disney Plus for one year if you're a Verizon customer for free. Hmm. I know you're like, hmm. Well, I'm just saying, no, no, hmm. That's all I said. I ain't say the thing. <laughs> I ain't knock you purchase. 
Go ahead. Go go enjoy those Disney movies. Go watch your I, Oliver and Company. <laughs> the first thing I watched uh, was uh, six o'clock this morning. Was the animated uh, '90s version of Spider Man? Oh, uh, uh, is you? Yeah. I don't know if you remember. Oh, speaking of that, wasn't they? Uh, can somebody correct me if I'm wrong? But wasn't there like a, a talks of a Spider Man TV show on that damn service? There was. So are they going to go through with it, or did Sony work out a deal with that? I know they're going to continue the movies, doing the movies, but did they at least work out a deal for TV shows? Because it freaking um, continuity. I don't think they announced it yet, but we'll see. Yeah. I, know, I know we're getting another like another piece yeah. of Star Wars. That, that's <laughs> funny. People would say Tom Holland's the reason why this deal happened. So you mean to tell me Tom Holland unfollowing Sony was enough <laughs> <laughs> to work this out? I don't know. That was funny. Tom's like, fuck you guys. You got your children. I'm out of here. Oh. Hey Tom, you got your job back. I love you guys, man. I'm gonna follow you back, Spider Man. Yeah, let's get it. So, Danny says I arch my back for Disney. <laughs> I might. <laughs> 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 ah, that's funny. I you mean, it's um pretty I mean, interesting I- as well. Um. You already know, I think I think Bond put it out there. But yeah, CSAs are back, people. CSAs are definitely happening. So Bond's hosting it at. So I will be returning there to talk about what needs to be talked about over there. So for those of you that are uh, familiar with CSAs, who do you think is going to win this year's Corporate Slave Awards? Danny. From the platform podcast, you said Danny from the platform <laughs> line. Okay, but uh, another funny thing is he wants to you know they're making you know, a hocus pocus too. Kill me now, please. yeah. It's supposed to be on there. A hocus pocus too is going to be on there. Kill me now. Why? They're uh, actually supposed to be bringing back the the original cast, is what I heard. Why? <laughs> he said, why? Thor Birch is like what? Th- damn near f- close to 40 years old. The chick who played Danny, you know, the little girl. She's like, damn near, like, I f- how old is she? Like, damn, she's like, she's like mid 30s. Actually, no, she's she's like, she's like mid 30s and she's fucking, um, she's on The Walking Dead. Y'all remember the new Walking Dead with the whispers? She's mm-hmm. on The Walking Dead as a whisperer. I see. So she's on there. So if she is coming back, well, she's getting, she's not rusty then. The dude who played the, um, the brother, I haven't seen him in anything, and I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna do it. <laughs> Yo, Carlos wants you to do an interview with Cole Eastwood. <laughs> you hear that, <laughs> guys? That's uh, I hear crickets. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just looking at the chat, reading the chat here. Hold on. But I mean, Danny wants to go fire shots. At she me. ain't forty. No, nah, I'm fu- my bad. I'm I'm wrong. But she she's like she's like mid to early thirties. Yeah, she's like mid to early thirties. I'm fucked up. Look, nah, I'm talking about the sister uh, right. from uh, from Hocus Pocus. Mm-hmm. Uh, my yeah. bad, I fucked up. But she's like she's like mid thirties, but still, why? <laughs> I don't you know, get it. Really I don't get. Like, did they even watch the movie when they thought about this? I mean, they're dead. I then they die. I don't get it. So does that mean the dude who plays the cat's coming back? Right. <laughs> I don't get that. Uh, it's spookier than Hocus Pocus too. All right. Mm-hmm. Do you know what's spookier than Hocus Pocus too? What is it? What? Danny's playing Red Dead Redemption too with nude nude mods. He's playing Red Dead too. Oh Lord. With nude mods. Nude mods, yeah, that's spooky. yes. He's over, you know, coconut oil and everything with Arthur Morgan naked. Maybe I'm savage. She was a little girl in the damn boy. What does my bot think about the PC hobos getting their own? She has a, um, see, I'm not sure. I don't think he even commented on it, uh, Blue. I don't think he commented on that whole thing. Um, he said Cody Eastwood. So I guess you're talking about interview with Cody Eastwood. Like I did dealer. Um, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll consider some stuff. I'll consider some stuff. Um, <laughs> Lies. I, consider, I, I consider some stuff. Some people I'm just not paying attention to, like others. I just, I ignore it. Oh, oh wait, no, he ain't talking. Oh, he talking about who's gonna win CSAs. Uh, he said Cody Eastwood. He said J Tech. Oh, she said J Tech. My bad. 
Look at that. Don says, yo, Mike, can I slide in your DMs? I'm like, sure. Go ahead, Don. <laughs> yeah, you stupid, man. <laughs> Ask Don what the fuck she said. <laughs> you fucking liar, dog. I swear to God. Yo, Dan, how do you deal with this fool? He just flat out lied. Like, can I slide to your DM? What the face fuck? looks like, well, dude, what? <laughs> like, you start... You see, he, he, he caught me mid says what he said now. Like, what are you talking about? What's going on with the chat? What are you talking about? Can I slide in your DMs? Come on, man. You stupid. Not crazy. <laughs> Jamar Bates says, Big Mike, of course, Danny is playing you know, with nude mods. That's what PC weirdos do. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh god, now Lobo wants in here. No, no, no. Fucking no, no. savage. Can you, send, uh, can you send Lobo the link here? Is the URL up top? See the URL up top? Just click the URL up top and send it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. On Twitter or G or Discord, whatever. Just show the damn. I got him. He's already on my Discord. Oh, yeah. Everybody wants to invade. You like getting invaded. I don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't like it. I, I hate it in Call of Duty. Shit. No, it's fucked up. I, it was fucked up. That was part of it. All right, let me tell you. Let's go story time. One of the reasons yeah. why I hate Call of Duty. Let me give you guys a story time here. So I was part of a clan in Call of Duty, right? Now, this clan I thought was cool because, you know, we all just, we murked fools, right? We were good. We were really, really good in the game. Tell me why the clan had a tendency to have people on the team who liked to troll. So one day we were going against these tryhards, or that's what we call, you know, good people, obviously. We were going against some good players. They were, you know, they knew what they were doing. They had their counters. Tell me why I'm getting close to a nuke. On, and this is Kai Ghost, by the way. I'm getting close to the nuke. I'm playing whatever. You know, we're just, it's like a tense. Tell me why one of our fucking teammates joined the game and fucking he's on the other team. He's on the other team, <laughs> and when he's on the other fucking team, he pulls out an LMG with a target finder and literally sat. All right, y'all know that map. Um, what's that Is shit it? called? Was it Black Ops Two? The it's Need? Ghost. Ghost. No, no, no. Oh, it's Ghost. It's called. Oh. It's called. Was it called Strike Zone? That particular map. What's it called? Strike Zone. He was in know. that. He was on that map in Strike Zone where he's the little baseball field. He literally uh -huh. sat in the high rise with the fucking target finder and literally shot at the fucking. Guy. He was just shooting randomly in the spot. And uh, he kept taking out my team and shit. He was just dropping shit on us. I'm like, what is he doing? He sees us going against tryhards, but he's doing the shit to try. <laughs> wow. Tell me why the leader was so chicken shit. He didn't want to call him out and go, hey, look, dog, why are you doing that? We're going against fucking talented people, and, we're, and this is a ranked fight. So I don't care, man. I just wanted to play. Okay, go play some routes. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, God. I was fucked up. I'm like, okay. So let's do want to do that. But here's where it gets funny. Yeah. That wasn't the first time he did it. After he did that shit, right? After he after he did that, the next game, tell me why he joined session and did it again. <laughs> and then he did it again. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, what's the point of this team? If y'all, supposed to be a team thing, but y'all got dudes uh, anti-ing and doing this dumb shit, fucking up their experience. I don't go. Mm -hmm. Shit. Can't take Call of Duty shares, man. Can't. Yeah, I can't even. I can't even with this new one. You know what I mean? <clears throat> uh, why are they making a short circuit cartoon in a new Mighty Ducks TV series? Dog, I lost faith in humanity based on what you just said right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? what? Uh, put them on the top. Put them on the CSA top contender. Cole definitely going to win at least top honors for corporate nut hanging MVP of the year. <laughs> it, what MVP? Yeah, wait, who said that? No, nah, because CSA is, is literally oh, starting. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling like Those you're um, interested in CSAs, you better go to Bond's channel, put that vote in. Who you want on Who you want uh, on that uh, bracket? Uh, Odds uh, are Lobo might be on the bracket. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. You're going to be on that uh -uh. bracket? I'm going to put your ass on there. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, no, you ain't putting me on there. Uh-uh. I'll put I you on there as well. You'll go down with me. I don't, you're going down with me. Everybody likes me. What are you talking about? No, you're gonna go down with me. Everybody likes me. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. 
Put a one in the chat if you want Ryan to be nominating the CSAs. What the hell have I done as corporate slave, Verley? Uh, Look, you can't um, name shit. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> can't name shit. What have I done as corporate slave? Oh, uh, fuck. That's the shit. Like, God damn it. <laughs> ever, Dark Luke, what's up, brother? Y'all see uh, this? Huh? No, nah, I'm talking about in the chat. Y'all see this? I have done nothing to be to nominate for anything. <laughs> I'll be on yeah, the you've panel been anyway, so, you, you, um, you Porter Rock supposedly you, gonna be there. Me, you played a fucking uh, what you gonna call it? You play Super Lucky Styles. Come on, don't be, don't the, lie. On what platform and what universe are you living where I played that? Uh you played uh you played when I was doing other other shit. I seen you play. Don't lie to you. Lies. Don't lie to you. Lies. Oh, oh. The, Oh, we're going down like that, huh? You already went down. You already killed yourself. You just jumped. You, you slid down a razor blade and fell in the alcohol river with that statement. Like, <laughs> alcohol? Oh, God. All right. I mean, no. That was an elf right there, sir. Uh, uh, have you bought Death Stranding yet? No, sir. I don't have it yet. Oh, God. Who's uh, played Medieval? Who's played Medieval? Not me. I, medieval? I, haven't, I haven't picked it up. I may not even. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, God. It's snowing over there? No, see? You lucky. I like the snow. I like when it snows. I don't know why. <laughs> Everyone lo- lo- wants snow now. It's. It, have you ever had that, uh, that feeling when, like, oh... Like at, by the end of the winter, you're like, oh, thank God, I want to, I want to be summer again. Then later in the end of the summer, you're like, oh, I wish it, it would be cold again. Don't you guys have that uh, that type of vibe? No. Uh. I ain't weirdo. It's only you, Lobo. Fun. You're the weirdo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> so I'm about to get it. Okay. Uh, yo, shout out uh, to Ice Queen for giving me a follow on Twitter. Yo, yo, thanks for following me, Ice Queen. I think the whole thing would change. Say something, Mike. Did I say uh, something? Yeah, okay, there you go. Nah. <laughs> uh, make sure the thing moves for the chat. Okay. Just making sure it moves for the chat so everybody can see who's talking. That's oh, you're trying to you're trying to do a new and no another? no mm. for God's sakes no. I mean, I could have put the chat on the left, but I was like, yeah, I ain't feel like it. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, I did this... not feel like it. I just felt like talking about a few things. Cause I've been away. Everybody can ask oh, yeah. where the hell have I been? I've been away, man. Yeah, gaming, doing other stuff. Oh, and shout out to Stan Lee. It's been a year since. W- since we lost him. Yeah, we lost a legend, the icon. Sad. A legend icon, yep. Yeah. It's sad. Sad that uh, dudes is um, making it a priority to buy up his shit, though. Yeah, I saw that. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. crazy. They're trying to buy up his shit and cash in on his death. That's fucked up. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now George Lucas got called in to save Star Wars, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm like, dog, y'all, y'all, y'all hustled this man out of the Star Wars license, and now y'all want him to save it? I would have said, fuck you guys. Let it die. I would, too. I, would too. I was like, yo, I'm man. Like, let, let it die. Was, just pay me just to get let the it die. Yeah, I would have let it die. Fuck that. What's up, wild bitch? <laughs> Actually, I see. Um, I can <clears throat> I can't wait for sales sometimes. I, I usually got to be like the person that has to buy the game right away because I want to put it in my collection and eventually play it. Even if it's on a back order or just jump in right away and experience it. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, me. Craziness. Yeah. Craziness. The only time I usually wait for sales is sometimes is on consoles, depending mm-hmm. on oh, what they're yeah. on. Like Black Friday's around, right around the corner. Yeah. You said that Death Stranding is going to get like about like a discount? That's what I was hearing that it's going to be like thirty five dollars. Thirty five bucks? No, mm-hmm. maybe I'll end up snatching it. Black I Friday. mean, that's not that's not a bad deal. You know, it's a new game. No, and, no, no. And the PlayStation is going to be on sale. Target already showed their hands. PlayStation is going to be on sale, and this is a hell of a deal. One ninety nine. 
And like, for a slim. And for you a slim get like, I mean, that's not bad. For one yeah, and, for nine, slim, and, and you, get you get like three to God, four games. Get God of War, Horizon mm-hmm. Zero Dawn, the complete edition, Last yeah. of Us Uncharted, remastered. Yep. For one ninety nine, and if you know Death Stranding's on sale, why can't everybody's gonna snatch Death Stranding up? Yeah. That'd be yeah. a stupid. That'd be a stupid choice not to not to snatch it up. Mm. <laughs> the fuck. Yep. Uh, I w- wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this dude bagged her milk from the car, but then he poured it in the bag. What? Wait, wait, what? What's going on? Uh, okay, so. <laughs> What's Stop going playing on? with me. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, oh no! God, what I'm did you? It. What did you see, Ryan? I'm sending it. Oh shit! That is oh. funny. So. <laughs> Here. Oh no! It's a mic. Uh, uh, it's on Twitter, uh, by the way. Go to Twitter. Yeah, I'm. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting. You're always waiting. Oh. I'm wa- oh. 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 I mean, about, I mean, you're like Danny. You're always waiting there, Lobo. You're a PC elitist. <laughs> oh, you want to go down now? Do you want to go down? Do you really want to go down, Mike? Do you really fucking want to go down? I'm triggered. <laughs> He just triggered. I, I triggered him. <laughs> I get triggered. You get triggered. Oh Do you really want to fucking go? <laughs> oh my god! Just not hearing any big might just followed me on Twitter. I'll go. I'll go full AEW on this shit. Yeah, pass. Uh, no. Oh, sure oh. So I'm just like looking at stuff before I f- close this down. Yeah. Uh, but um all right, so that was a little quick quick little show yeah. for you guys. And you guys have asked where I've been at. I've been doing other stuff on the side, so excuse me. But um yeah, it was good to do this little stream, talk to y'all. Hope you all enjoyed this. Um yeah. I'll definitely obviously be back with more videos, everything on nature probably tomorrow. And uh continue the format, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, until then, y'all be good, y'all go play some games. Like always, love you guys. Thank you guys Play for coming Play games, not corporations. For... What? Oh, shut oh. up. <laughs> uh, shout out to uh, Lobo and shout out to Mike for coming through. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And um, let me actually take my screen back. But yeah, appreciate y'all coming mm-hmm. through. And everybody else in the chat, appreciate y'all. Um, probably going to be doing some other stuff like this in the future. Probably. But um, yeah. I, I will like this definitely format be better than you know, what you usually did, like your horde. I like this format. Yeah. No. I mean, eh, it was the original, but until Google took it down. This, yeah. Yeah, that's true. So that was everybody's format. But I will definitely be back tomorrow. Much love. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Y'all already know how it is. Gaming, all that jazz. Spend some other stuff. Also, mm-hmm. I got to get in touch with a certain somebody uh, for another for the interview. Oh, uh, he, yeah, I hear this. Hmm? Yep. Yeah. He poured out. He he posted he was home, so I don't know. Might be able to get it earlier than expected, but we'll see if mm. um, we can do that. Oh, okay. So um we'll see. But until then, people, uh y'all have a good one and y'all be blessed. All right. Until next time, mm-hmm. Big Cloud Gaming. I am signing out. Y'all be blessed. Later. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs>